Welcome to the We Care Solar Training video series. The solar suitcase is a complete solar electric system that powers medical lighting, mobile phones, and small devices. This video will teach you how to use the solar suitcase and its accessories. Before I show you how the solar suitcase works, let's open it and find out what is inside. It includes solar panel, home run cable, main control board, battery, charge controller, and light. Appliances included are a Fito Doppler with rechargeable batteries, a USB adapter, a USB to micro USB wire, a multi-tip USB phone charger, two headlamps or torches with rechargeable batteries, and a battery charger. It also comes with installation and mounting hardware. The solar suitcase is a complete solar electric system. The solar panel turns sunlight into electricity. The electricity is then stored in the battery. From the battery, electricity is sent to the lights and other electrical appliances. To use the solar suitcase, you must first connect the battery. The battery is connected by positive and negative terminals so that the colors match black to black, red to red. Black is negative and red is positive. Make sure these connections are well fitted. Now, connect the battery to the main control board. Now you can turn on the main power switch. It is very important that the main power switch should always be on. Even if staff is going on leave, the main power switch should always be on. The only time you need to turn off this switch is when you are changing the main battery, which happens every five years. Now that the system is on, let's look at the charge controller. The charge controller tells you how much electricity is stored in the battery. The amount of electricity you can store in the battery is limited, so use it wisely. We want to be sure there's enough electricity in the battery to keep the lights on all night. So, how do you know how much electricity is stored in your battery? There are four small lights on the charge controller that will give you information. First, the green light above the sun shows the solar panel is sending electricity into the system. It will be green during the daytime when the panel is properly connected. If you don't see the green light on during the day, it means your solar panel is not connected. During the night, you will not see this light. The three other lights are the battery status lights. These lights tell you the approximate amount of electricity available in the battery and whether you should use or conserve the electricity in the battery. If the green light is blinking, it tells you that the battery is full. This is the best time to charge cell phones and other appliances. If the green light is solid, it tells you that the battery is between 10 and 90% full. Now you have to be careful with the electricity you use. Charge appliances only if really necessary and only during the daytime. The yellow light tells you that the battery is almost empty. This is the time to conserve electricity. Do not charge appliances and use only one light if needed. When the red light is on, it means the battery is empty and the system will soon shut down. Leave the main power switch on, but turn off the light switches. Get your headlamps ready. The next day, allow the battery to fully charge until the battery status light is blinking green again. It is important to properly use the solar suitcase in order to make sure that there is electricity available at night for the lights. The main function of the solar suitcase is to provide reliable lighting for medical procedures at night. The solar suitcase comes with two lights, each with an on-off switch. Remember, only turn on the lights when you need them. The rest of the time, they should be turned off. When the battery is full, the lights are able to stay on all night. Remember not to charge any appliances after the sun has set 
or else you might run out of electricity during the night when it is most needed. During the day, make sure to switch off the lights and to charge appliances, especially when the green light is blinking. Now let's look at the different appliances that come with the solar suitcase. A Fito Doppler with rechargeable batteries, a USB adapter, a USB to micro USB wire, a multi-tip USB phone charger, two headlamps, torches, with rechargeable batteries and a battery charger. Remember, only charge appliances in the day when the green light is blinking. The USB adapter helps you charge phones and headlamps. Insert the USB adapter into one of the appliance sockets, then turn on the red switch to start charging. Ensure the USB adapter is fully inserted into the charging port. Listen for a click, that means it is well inserted. It has two slots so that you can charge two phones at a time. The multi-tip charger that comes with the solar suitcase can charge only one cell phone at a time. If more than one phone is attached to the multi-tip charger, it will fail. If the charger is no longer working, you can find a car charger for your cell phone and use that instead. Remember that phones are essential to emergency healthcare. They can save a life. Remember to always charge your phones during the day so they are available when you need them. At night, charge only in case of extreme emergency, like calling an ambulance. The headlamps, or torches, are placed on the head. The button on top turns it on and off. Click it once to turn on the light. Click it again to turn off the light. This light has many settings, but an important one to know about is the lock mode. If you press the button for six seconds, a blue light will blink on the side of the headlamp and lock the headlamp off. Press for another 6 seconds to release the lock. The headlamps use AAA rechargeable batteries that can be charged by a micro USB cord similar to a cell phone. When it is charging properly, this small light will blink green. When the headlamp is fully charged, the light will stay green. If while charging, it is any color besides green, it means that you need to remove the batteries from the headlamp and charge them in the battery charger. This will be demonstrated in a moment. When placing the batteries back in the headlamp, make sure to put positive to positive and carefully close the back. The battery charger recharges AA and AAA rechargeable batteries. The batteries must be inserted correctly, positive to positive, negative to negative. If batteries are placed incorrectly, they can fail. If single-use batteries are used in the charger, the charger will spoil. To charge AA batteries, flip the tab up. To charge AAA batteries, flip the tab down. The batteries will last longer if you charge the batteries in families or the same group each time. Once the batteries are inserted into the charger, plug it into the appliance port, switch on the red button, and see that the batteries are charging. The Fito Doppler is used to listen to the Fito heartbeat. It uses two AA batteries. The batteries that come with the Fito Doppler are rechargeable. Open the back of the Fito Doppler and insert the batteries, positive to positive, negative to negative. More information about how to properly use the Fito Doppler is demonstrated in another video. Always keep the solar suitcase closed when you are not using it. Now let's review what we have learned in this video. The main switch always stays on. The charge controller tells you how much electricity is available. Blinking green light, the battery is full. So this is a good time to charge appliances as needed. When the green light is solid, your electricity is limited and you should use it carefully. When the light is yellow, that means you are almost out of electricity. And when it is red, the battery is empty. The battery stores electricity for use at night. The lights are for use at night time and should be turned off when not in use. The multi-tip phone charger should only charge one phone at a time. 
The battery charger can charge only rechargeable batteries and the batteries must be inserted correctly. The headlamp can be charged by USB cable or by removing the batteries and placing them in the battery charger. That is the end of the first We Care Solar Training video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.